up the rebel's sleeve of care. Long hurt my news. Anyone about? Not a single godforsaken soul. <laughs> we. Uh, must have sunk a bottle or two. Silly bastard. Jose! Boris! Sod the pair of you. Paid you both to see me home, didn't I? I got off. Left me all alone. My benefit night. May benefit nice. Deserted man on his benefit night, disgusting. Ah, not that I've much to celebrate anyway. Back breaking. It feels as if somebody split my head wide open. Yeah. Ah, got to face the truth. I'm old. Eighty-eight. So many wasted years gone down the drain. <laughs> Not much longer to go. More than 60 years before the public. <laughs> Done it all. Once upon a time, the legitimate theater. And then the Vaudeville houses, <laughs> all over the place, trying to milk the last laugh out of God knows how many lousy sketches. Do you know what? Very first time now, I'm alone in an empty theater. Very first time. Remarkable. Yes, you know, I can't see a bloody thing. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. There it is. The prompt box over there, where he sits. Nikita. What's that? Spooky. I don't like it. God help me, I'm all on my own. I'm scared. I have to get away. Find my way to my dressing room. Ah! No! Get away! It's me, sir. Only me. Who? Nikita, the prompter. I'm sorry, sir. I thought I heard you. Nikita! You! You're all right, sir. Not to be alarmed. I heard you shouting, so I thought I'd better... Uh, what on earth are you doing here? <laughs> In your nightshirt. I spend the night here, sir. Every night. I have to... Not a word to the manager, sir. Please. I implore you. I've no way to sleep. I have to doss down here. No way to sleep? Nobody knows. I pray you, sir, don't tell. So it's only you, the prompter. <laughs> you didn't half scare me coming out of the dark like this. It's not very cheerful here, is it? So much space. So empty. It isn't right. The theatre ought to be full. People cheering, clapping, laughing, honouring the noble art of comedy. Saluting the masters of the comic art. Bravo. Tonight, Nikita. What a night! Oh, ho, my benefit! <laughs> Sixteen curtain calls, they wouldn't let me go. Sixteen? I lost count. Yeah, and up they came to the edge of the stage, right here. You know, wanting to, to touch me, to, to shake my hand. You saw them, Nikita, wanting to touch me. How about that? <laughs> Remarkable. It's a triumph. No other word for it. A triumph. Yes, all very well. What happens then? After the triumph, what? They all go home. Never a thought for me when the shouting's done. Nobody stays to see me home. There I am, sitting all alone in my dressing room. <laughs> ah, well. Ah, well. I'm near worn out. I'm old. Soon I've got to die, Nikita. What have I got left to give me strength? Uh, only the bottle. Nothing else. Time to go home, sir. What? Please, I'll take you home. No, 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 I have no home. God forbid what a thing to say. Our own beloved master of the art, of course he has a home. Two shabby little rooms in a worn-out quarter of the town. 
Nobody there to greet me. Not so much as a dog to lick my hand. Where's the wife to cook me a tasty meal and then crawl into bed beside me to keep me warm? <laughs> no one to love me, Nikita. No one. Sir, the public loves you. Only tonight, not three hours gone. You remember the way they called you back? How many times? Sixteen. And the hands outstretched. Ah, where are they now? Gone home. Back to their comfortable houses. Tables groaning with food. Sons, daughters, uncles, cousins, servants. <laughs> oh, yes, they like to laugh for a few hours. The old comedian here, but... There, do they give him a single thought? No, he's forgotten. Never. I truly believe, sir, you will live in the hearts of them all. All who were ever blessed by joy and laughter. <laughs> you have made this theater a sacred place. It's sacred, yes. This very stage is a holy temple. Holy? You believe that? In the heart of my heart, I believe it, yes. Well, remarkable. Let me tell you something. Things were different once. My father owned a big country estate, believe me, yes. He bought me a commission in the army. Ah, what a life I could have led. <laughs> Splendid uniforms, regimental dinners, and then the decorations and the women, <laughs> all that. I threw it away. I wanted to be an actor. Better not to remember the past, sir, especially this time of night. Gogol said it, didn't he? Beware the past. It is an open wound. Hadn't you better be getting home, sir? I'd be happy to... Mind you, in the beginning, as a young actor, I was doing pretty well. <laughs> no fooling. That part, yes. European classics. I was on the up and up. And best of all, there was this wonderful girl. <laughs> Everything you've ever dreamed of. Elegant, innocent, so, such sweet nature, magical smile. She made me feel the world was so full of excitement, so full of promise. So, one afternoon, I went down on my knees and asked her to marry me. <laughs> she loved me, she said. You couldn't be an actor's wife. Impossible. We understand that, don't we? I shouldn't ever have asked her. Any tasteful, truly sensitive person, how could they possibly tolerate us? The life we lead, the way we behave. I mean to say, all those people coming up tonight wanting to clutch my hand and thank me. All very well. But you suppose they'd let me marry their sister or their daughter? Out of the question. So she turned me down. You didn't consider you, you couldn't abandon the theater? Could have. Yes, of course. But I didn't. Could give up the bottle, but I don't. <laughs> Why not? Only God can tell you. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what happened to the lady? After a little while, never set eyes on her again. Even so, may the saints protect her. But what happened to me? There's the story. The story? Yeah. She opened my eyes to the truth. Never again could I see the theater as I'd always seen it up till then. Magical, exciting, even important. Holy. <laughs> but once she turned me down, oh, soon, dear God, I was slipping away into another world. The theater, she saw it. Vulgar, humdrum, sleazy, banal. No. Yeah, and that's the way it's been, my friend, these 40 years. No, I can't agree, sir. Look, Never but now. Look at the tatty costumes, look at the tawdry scenery, all those feeble jokes. <laughs> Sacred! What a travesty. Nothing at all to do with art. But think of the pleasure we give the public, the solace we offer to brighten their laborious lives. Here in the world of illusion, we can free the spirit where we can all of us still aspire to reach the heights. How? With all those slipshod, tired routines? 
And the most depressing part of it all is the, the more, uh, the, whatever rubbish we shovel across the footlights every night, well, the, the, the poor benighted public laps it up. They never notice as we're giving them drivel and shit. <laughs> what do they do? They just come back for more. I can't agree, sir. You're not yourself tonight, sir. A few hours sleep, you, you, it'll all be different in the morning. The magic can still be there, sir. Don't despair. No, don't get so excited. <laughs> not to worry. I sometimes say to myself, it just wasn't always so. I wasn't always 88, full of aches and pains from top to toe. Time was I had lungs like an elephant. Power to top a thunderstorm. Ah, you should have seen me when I was young. Nothing I couldn't have tackled. Even the big one, Leah, uh, blow winds and crack your cheeks. Uh, shall I have a go at him? Now. Why not? Hmm? Out on the heath. Lowering sky, torrential rain, thunder crashing around. Lightning whipping the heavens. And the poor, old, afflicted king, white hair streaming in the wind. Battered by all the elements. What a scene. Ah. Blow winds and crack your cheeks. Rage, blow. You cataract and hurricane, oh, spout. Till you have drenched our steeples, drown the cocks. You sulfurous and thought executing fires. Vaunt couriers to oak cleaving thunderbolts. Singe my white head. And thou, O oh, shaking thunder, smite flat the thick rotundity of the world. Crack nature's mould. All oh, German spill at once and make ingrateful man. Oh, Nuncle, caught holy water in a dry house is better than this rainwater. Out a door, good Nuncle, in and ask thy daughter's blessing. Here's a night pities neither wise man nor fool. Rumble, my belly bull. Spit fire, spout rain. No rain, wind, thunder, fire are my daughters. I tax not you, you elements, with unkindness. I never gave you kingdoms. I called you children. Uh, and so on. How was it? Superb. Majestic. I'd give my right hand to have seen you play it in your prime. Mm -hmm. Three years I've seen, all of them stupendous. My humble opinion, in the opening scene, the old man shouldn't be sure of Cordelia. Does she love him so entirely? He so much wants her to. She's the one he's really testing, you see. He knows she'll answer him honestly, and he fears the worst. And he's quite right. Instinctively, he fears she might not tell him what he wants to hear. Now something quieter. Touch of melancholy. Hamlet. The recorders. I'll give you... Why do you go about to recover the wind of me as if you drive me into a toil? I'll take it from there. Oh, my lord. No, 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 not yet. I'll give it to you properly. Why do you go about to recover the wind of me as if you drive me into a toil? Oh, my lord, if my duty be too bold, my love is too unmannerly. I do not well understand that. Will you play upon this pipe? My lord, I cannot. I pray you. Believe me, I cannot. I do beseech you. I know no touch of it, my lord. It is as easy as lying. Govern these vintages with your finger and thumb. Give it breath with your mouth. And it will discourse most eloquent music. Look you, these are the stops. My lord, these cannot I command to any utterance of harmony. I have not the skill. Oh, I look you now how unworthy a thing you make of me. You would play upon me. You would seem to know my stops. You would pluck out the heart of my mystery. You would sound me from my lowest note to the top of my compass. And there is much music, excellent voice in this little organ, yet cannot you make it speak? It's blood! Do you think I'm easier to be played on than a pipe? But call me what instrument you will, though you may fret me, yet cannot you play upon me. <laughs> the irony of that, the rhythm, wonderful. Of course, it's all very well to say it's given to the actor on a plate, 
It isn't easy, you know, not easy. You've got to find the man's distress under the wit, the quicksilver mind playing on a recorder to compare with the way that they're trying to manipulate him. Why, wonderful, brilliant, eh? Did you think I got all that? Perfectly. I thought so. Every nuance. Yeah, well, I, it felt right. You can always tell, I mean, when, when a thing's absolutely right, you know you've hit home. <laughs> God, I feel so young. <laughs> now I want something very tender, lyrical, almost adolescent. <laughs> Troilus? No, never played him. Um, obviously, Romeo. The balcony? No, 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 the end, much better. When, when, when he, he thinks she's dead. Yeah. Breaks your heart. You'll see. Oh, my love. My wife. Death that has sucked the honey of thy breath has had no power yet upon thy beauty. Thou art not conquered. Beauty's ensign yet is crimsoned in thy lips and in thy cheeks. And death's pale flag is not advanced there. Ah, oh, sorry, it's gone. <coughs> that line, what a line. Death's pale flag is not advanced there. Oh, I can hardly say it. Struck me dumb. <laughs> Went completely blank. Well, look at you. What did I tell you? <laughs> Breaks your heart. If only. What? If only. Well, say it, old chap. You do still believe, don't you, sir? The theater. It can inspire. It can lift up the spirit. It can remind us what a godlike thing it is to see the imagination soar and the words take wing. Yes, yes, yes. Of course it can. We all know that. The bugger of it is, it hardly ever does. Still, we have to keep on trying. <laughs> Nothing else to keep us going. All we have left is to soldier on. It is time to say farewell. Yes, and who said that better than anyone? Who? Othello. Idiot. How could I not have? Oh, now forever. Farewell, the tranquil mind. Farewell, content. Farewell, the plumed troop, and the big wars that make ambition virtue. Oh, farewell. Farewell, the neighing steed and the shrill trump, the spirit-stirring drum, the ear-piercing fife, the royal banner, and all quality, pride, pomp, and circumstance of glorious war. And oh, you mortal engines, whose rude throats the immortal Jove's dread clamors counterfeit. Farewell. Othello's occupations. Gone. Terrific. Unforgettable. That'll do. I think there's still a bottle left in the dressing room. <laughs>